Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. So, from the thumbnail that you guys saw last time, the house is a little bit more complete. Now, I realized that I added some stuff since I actually finished the last video, but I couldn't contain myself. I just kept going and going and going and I wanted to play around with designs and I finally found a couple that I liked and I didn't want to try to recreate them <laughs> once I'd already did them. So uh, whether it's accidental or not, I think the lines came out really, really good. I wanted to do something like a Z and then I kind of just kept playing with it and well, that's what I got. Anyway, um, I got some suggestions from last time. A couple of you had said sugarcane and I'm planning on doing sugarcane somewhere else for sure in the build. I do love the way the plants look. Not a whole bunch has changed down here, but up here I did a few little things. I did um, keep the bathroom the same, except I added a little window because I think it needed it. And I'm still going to add a few minor touches here and there to complete the decorations when we kind of start doing the interior decoration, which we should get to um, this video. Uh, I did a little balcony up here and I wanted to, uh, somebody had said in the comments that it was a great idea to try maybe a quartz uh, block uh, or a double slab that way that the, the rail wouldn't look so foo and it actually does look a lot better. I played around with the idea of just having the glass go on top here and I also extended out the rail that way but I think this is the best way to do it. This is just going to be an area for like a little sun porch or a balcony on top to where we can put a little piece of furniture and maybe a grill of some sort just to, um, you know, just to be an outdoor area that you could do. And over there is a little space for a little roof garden, something very, very small. I think I'm going to do some large ferns or something there, but uh, we shall see. What I want to do right now is get a bedroom started because my bedroom is still on the living room floor and I quite hate it there. <laughs> and also I just built a couple of doors so that I can seal these off. So I'm going to go ahead and add these now. I think I want them on the outside. That way it is a little bit more flush and on the inside it should look inset. Yep, that's beautiful. Uh, I debated whether I should, you know, one of the things that most people do in Minecraft is they outline their doors and I usually do like the outline doors in modded you can do stuff like with chisel blocks to give a door lining but in vanilla you have to put total blocks and I think it would take away from the design palette right here although I could probably do something like that if I would it would probably come inside and maybe I could do some more shelving or something of that nature I don't know I'm still debating on that Anywho, let's get some materials up for the bed. I do want to try to use the cyan stained clay and a combination of snow uh, to get a fake bed going on. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, not a fake bed, but a bed frame, so to speak. So let's get these here. And what we'll do is kind of make a frame, kind of like we did at Slip's place. So this is going to be the center because there's three on either side. So we can possibly come out like this. And let's do one more right there, and then we'll do another one right here. And that'll still allow space to get in and out of the bathroom and in and out of the patio area. Uh, oh, I did make a couple other doors that I can add here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I think these are going to be the same deal. I think I want them on the outside. And there we go. And actually, I do have a couple quartz slabs that I could probably just place here. Um, oh, you know what? I need, I would need the full quartz blocks here, which I do have. Uh, I think I have them. Yep. So let's, or I can add just two more slabs. Let's see what it looks like with the slabs first. Uh, what did I just do? I put dirt in its place. Wood slabs. Come on. Okay. So yeah, that didn't look too bad. Let's see what it looks like with the full blocks of quartz. Uh, I'm thinking that the wood slabs would look better in this particular case. So there we go. Actually, it should be stairs, but we can always do that later. At any rate, we can walk in and out of the room, and it's good. So we might change that to stairs. We'll see. All right. So for these, I think I'm going to go with, let's see. We need a two for the bed. 
and this will be like a headboard area so let's you know what let's just go ahead and grab the bed and that will help us measure stuff out I'm relatively certain that carpet does not affect spawning with the bed so my respawn should take effect and we can always test that so let's go ahead and put the carpet uh, the bed down uh, let's say here okay so there we go we got space there I think we can do Let's see, we can probably come up one, two right here, and one, two right here. Okay, so now we can take a combination of quartz blocks, probably stair. And while I'm down here, I can actually make those dark oak wood stairs that I wanted if I stop placing random blocks all over the place. Thank you. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is spruce. These are dark oaks. I need full dark oak blocks. So let's just do that. We'll go ahead and... Oh, that's spruce too, isn't it? Huh. The woods are so similar. There we go. Dark oak. Okay. Make some of them. Planks. And make the stairs. Beautiful. Okay. So now we also need some quartz stairs. Let's do... Wish you could do snow stairs. Only because it would be cheaper. But So let's do... I guess we can do... Eight of these would probably not be too much. Okay. Let's try that out. Oh, and you know what? I do want to make a couple more slabs too. So let us do the blocks of quartz six slabs let's do 12 slabs and that'll leave me with 35 full blocks that should be a good assortment of stuff okay so i think i don't know if i'm gonna go this high with it i know i don't want to go that high on these so let me just play around with some design here i think we can probably do a bit of let's see if i do this no nope, let's do it like this no nope like that <laughs> there we go and I'll do one right here now I think maybe we can go with should we do that mm, no it needs to be right side up I believe just like that and we actually need to join it what about if I did quartz blocks right there Let's try it. I'm going to take my ender pearls out because I don't need them at this moment. And we can do the quartz blocks here and here. And then we can... Let's see, what would this look like? What would this look like? I think that's pretty cool. How's that? I think that's a good start if I come around right here. Oh no, I'm short one stair, huh? Mm, and this, you know what? I still don't know about that. I think I want, I think I still rather those, the full blocks with the cyan stained clay, kind of like the pillars, uh, which is a little weird because it kind of just joins up right there. Hmm. I'm not too sure. It makes me want to come all the way out, but that would be too wide. You know what I mean? Like if I came out with the quartz one wider over here. Let me play a little bit with this design, you guys. I'll be back in a sec. So I think I've got a workable design. It's getting there. I'm not 100% pleased with it, but I think this light will probably help out a bunch. Let me put a lever up here, and I want it to be... If it goes right there, yeah, it will. Cool. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so we can put it down in that location. That way, from the top, it kind of looks like... Well, actually, you can't see it. <laughs> I like it better like that. Cool. And it's closed in at the top. It's a nice little... I don't know. It's a nice little addition, I believe. I want to possibly take these two pieces of quartz and run like that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I'm not too sure if I particularly like that or I think what I should do is this how's that yeah that way it serves as a border for the bed and the top is flat yeah that works so let's get some carpet just to finish it off I thought about using snow but snow is a little volatile 
you know the the layers of snow they melt a lot when you get them too close to light and I really don't want to fool with that plus we have plenty from spun wax confetti rocket so let's see 64 corpet I want to say that white would be good but I'm also gonna bring let's see do I have dark gray I have gray carpet yes and I also have light gray which I don't think will be ideal for this particular color palette I like to keep everything really really streamlined with colors so let's see gray would look like this which does not look bad at all I think I actually like that what does white look like let's just put a few pieces down and see what happens white carpet looks a little bit too bright doesn't it yeah I think the gray is definitely the choice that we're gonna go with which works out good although I only have six or so let's go ahead and put that down and see if we were overlooking a stack I really only need one more I do want to do some rugs around those so it's not gonna hurt me to have any more gray carpet let's see uh, let's see black carpet black carpet yeah unfortunately we don't have any more gray carpet that's not gonna be a problem because I do need to get some also I need to make a sh I need to make a run for wool leather and clay because I don't have anything for decoration so I'm gonna go on a little road trip you guys probably find some of those stuff maybe check the town shops and uh, when we come back we'll try to finish off the room so I remember in the comments a while back someone saying that Joe Hills had an incredibly large sheep form so I came out to Old Hermiton and here I am at Joe's place I'm really not sure all what's going on here but I heard some sheep when I was approaching and this looks like the place looks like all of the different colors of sheep this is an actual pretty cool setup um, hmm. I wonder if he has any kind of payment method set up what's this sign say care package from Asuma this way to the wool form serve a wool storage designed by Joe Hills please shear sheep and help refill the boxes okay so the boxes I guess we just pick from what we want ah I see so they're just about empty um where are the sheep to shear I wonder if you shear the ones on top oh wait good <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it's sheep heaven they're everywhere it's like it's like skittles <laughs> okay well I did bring my handy dandy shears and plenty of iron I guess what I'll do is just go through here and start shearing away the sheep let's go ahead and put the shears in our hand I don't think I'm gonna try to even do anything in an orderly fashion I think I'm just gonna grab a bunch of different colors of wool and see what I can get accomplished here well you guys I didn't do bad at all I got quite a few stacks of wool here I'm probably gonna deposit some of the lesser favorable colors like pink because <laughs> I don't really have a use for pink uh, <laughs> I'm going to probably deposit some of the less favorable colors in these chests here and then I'm going to move on to try going and explore for some clay. What a journey. All the way to Old Hermiton to grab all sorts of stuff. Came back to New Hermiton, fished around a little bit, went on an adventure to kill cows, went on an adventure for clay. Looks like I'm pretty I'm pretty set guys. I, I, I grabbed a couple of melons so I can make seeds with them and a couple of pumpkins so I can make seeds for some decorations. Only got 22 leather. I, don't, I couldn't find a cow form. I don't know who has a cow form around here but I guess I'm gonna have to look around or make my own eventually. Uh, even checked Muse Meats and I figured there would be some leather there because of the whole meat thing but nope sadly not. Uh, picked up some ink sacks as you saw all the the wool already and a couple of cocoa beans too so I need to bro I need to go smelt this clay up that way we can get some bricks and make some pots and put some of these up and the reason that I got seeds is that I kind of use them for decoration with the item frames so let's see how we can do this this is the message chest, right let's dump some of this out we do have we do want the gray wool out and I think I'll just put the blue in here uh, and I really hate to 
mess up anything that's work. I suppose that we could have put all the wool in here simply because it's already kind of the, the wool chest, you know. So let me grab those out of there again. And green. Yeah, perfect. Okay. What? Oh, I forgot I had grabbed some grass blocks. That is going to help out tremendously later on. Okay, so we got all of these out. Uh, the dark gray wool, I'm still going to need to make carpet, so let's do that. I should only need a few pieces, so let's go with nine, just in case. And let's go upstairs and see. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, item frames too. Uh, let's see, I need wood, which would mean sticks. And let's see if I still remember how to do this. Boom, boom. And all the way around. I messed that up real good, didn't I? <laughs> and leather in the middle, boom, item frame, good. So I just need a bunch more sticks. I thought it was that. Uh, door cook, a spruce, let's just use spruce. Five, yeah, that should be, uh, let's just go nuts, shall we? Spruce, turn all this into spruce wood and label it like such, boom. All right, 64, now we can put our leather in the middle and we'll get a ton of item frames. That's good. Nine is probably good to start with simply because the leather I'd like to use for books. Although I think there's still, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to search for some books anyway because I really need to go to the end and start working on a silk touch pick. Um, let's see. So I have the item frame set here. I think what I'm going to do is hang a set of item frames like... I want them next to the bathtub, so let's do these just like that. Actually, I think I only want three here. I don't think I want the fourth. Where did my fourth one go? I hope I still got it. Shoot, that would suck. Okay, so we're gonna do melon seeds, cocoa beans, and regular seeds, and also, should we do pumpkin seeds instead? Pumpkin seeds are a little bit lighter. We can do a fourth, I suppose. Let's put the item frame. Well, I could do it across, actually. Let me let me change that up right quick. So we got one, two, three, four. <laughs> actually, that doesn't fit either because it's not even. And I don't want to do five. Oh, well. Four it is along this wall, and we'll do a painting, I guess. All right, so we'll do these, and these are to kind of like emulate bath salts. I love this idea. I came up with it a while back in my indoor series, and I really, really liked it. There we go. So these are like some bath salts. We're also going to need some paintings. I got plenty of wool. So painting in the bathroom. I guess we're going to go with... I'm going to go with the two wide, I believe, even though that was a pretty good one right there. Yeah, that works. That's a good two wide painting. There is my item frame that I had left behind. And here is my painting. Now I need some light and big time. So let's see, how am I gonna do the light in here? I think I can do just a row of light. Probably, hmm. I need to do probably a few lights in here just to make sure that it's lit well. How much glowstone do I have on hand? Hmm. Okay, so we definitely need, let's see, is there a center in here? Three, four, yep, there is a center. This is three, this is three, okay. So that is the center right there. Let's just take something like this and place it there for now. Okay, so there's where the light is going to be. We can easily do a glowstone hanging from like a, probably a glass pane. Let's try that. So let's take, what am I doing? Let's take the glass pane that we already have. I don't know if white's gonna be the color, but it should be okay. And now we can just do a glowstone underneath that. I think is that is going to yield good light for the room. And we actually need to surround that. Actually, you know what? I really hate to do it, but I think I need, I wanna go one more up and just add. Did I, nope, I did not lose, great. 
great, great, great. Only lost glass. Good. I really hate doing that. <laughs> okay, so glowstone is going to be here. Now we're going to come around with this white, the white glass panes, wherever I put them. There we go. And this will be our bathroom light. And one there and one there. Cool. Now we have a bathroom light that kind of matches with the rest of the bathroom. I like that a lot. Um, need a small rug here. I want to say the gray carpet may be... I might go with a different color for here. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like. Gray carpet. This is probably going to be... Actually, that's not that bad. Six... Yeah, it's a good little bath mat. I like it. Uh, yep, we're going to keep it like that. And for here, we can finish this off with a gray carpet. Cool. So I'm messing with this bookcase <laughs> kind of design, this, this sort of bookcase design. And I'm trying to randomize it a little bit. And I think I've just found a pattern that I'm satisfied with. Although, we should probably do something like that too. Yeah, I just want it to be kind of random, and there's a bunch of different things I want to put in here. I'm going to put in my Herald Edition and my Welcome from Spumwack. So let's do that. Can I actually... Yeah, there we go. I can shift click on it. Okay, and I'll put my Welcome there. And then I can take a couple of book and quills here. Put one there. I can put another book and quill probably there I can take a regular book and put it there I think I could do this there 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 <laughs> that's it and I think the last thing I don't know what else to put in there I guess I can put a, another regular book right here maybe Okay, and this is also going to mess something up. Let's... This is going to be ugly. But y'all just bear with me. I need to make a couple bookshelves. Um, actually, I can only make... Ooh! I need to take one of those books out. Let's do... Let's take this bottom one out here. There we go. Now i got enough for two bookshelves. This is going to be kind of messy, but I'm just playing around with the idea here. I do need a few pieces of wood. Uh, I think I'm going to need more than that. Let's do three. That ought to give me 12. Perfect. 12. Yes. And now I can do two, two, and two. And then I should be able to put my books just like that and get a couple bookshelves. Excellent. All right. So what's weird about this is that if I want the bookshelves to be in like this, I can only put them in at the bottom. And it's going to break this, unfortunately. But that's okay, because I'm going to put the carpet right back. And did I have black carpet? Yes, it was black carpet. So I'll put the black carpet on top, and then again, and then again, and one more time, which I think I could just... Will I have to stand on something? I think I will. Uh, what can I stand on? Dirt? Sounds good. Dirt it is. And boom. Cool. Now the only thing that I can do right here is actually add the bookshelf. And that is going to have to do it for that section here. So all in all, not that bad. I'll probably need to do a little corner table, which I'm going to make with... I want to do a lamp think instead of a corner table right here and maybe although a mic could do a lamp right here it is going to restrict the space a little bit or it's gonna feel restricted hmm maybe a corner lamp is the answer okay so let's place an anvil and another anvil and a another anvil okay now we're gonna take our glowstone and put it right back here and then we're going to place glowstone here and here as well. 
and then we'll place the anvil and the anvil and that is our corner lamp that is gorgeous I love it I can actually do if I didn't have this weird shape on this plus it would be exposed by that I could actually use the lamps but the um, the redstone lamps but the glowstone will work it's it's actually a pretty good design okay I do need to do a little shelving space right here so I thought about this a little bit and I started thinking you know wood would probably look good but it is a little bit too dark the dark oak it kind of when the textures are that close together like the design I'm about to show you it really does meld differently and I'm not too sure about the quartz in the corner so you guys would tell me what y'all think I've also thought about nether brick and the different types of wood also brick and cobble and stone brick stairs and I think this is gonna be the best color palette for the rest of the room it, it, it is different enough to show so Basically to do this the, the way that I like it I want a real modern bookshelf and it's not gonna have any books on it But you can only do so much with stairs So we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna follow up just like this and you see how it makes that that cool looking shape So we're gonna go backwards like that again and do that and then we are going to Go actually wait did I do that right? Yeah, I did do that right and we're gonna go like this and like this now on top Oh, I didn't mess that up. Oh man, I messed that up bad. Gray wool. Uh, what the heck did I do now? Let me grab my ender pearls. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. <laughs> it came darn close. Did I grab my... Uh, oh yeah, I got it. Crazy shelving designs. <laughs> it's gonna end up getting me killed. <laughs> Zuljan, front page, dies from interior decorating. Alright, wouldn't be the first time actually. <laughs> All right, here we go. We can put this back now, and now we can do this. And that's what I needed to do in the first place. Yes, it joins up. So I just finish it off with a couple of the quartz slabs, and there is our modernized bookcase or shelving unit. <laughs> so I think it come out pretty good. Let's see, I do need to add some glass panes here before I end up killing myself. So we'll do, we'll, we'll have the glass extend from here and it'll finish up right there. That's probably good. I could do a quartz, maybe, uh, actually, you know what? The glass won't connect with anvils, so I'm gonna avoid using anvils. I think I just need some more cyan clay. And I think that'll be like my border or my end piece here. So I think it'll actually come out go ahead and break this I really need silk touch y'all I waste so much stuff and yeah I think that's gonna actually be good I don't think we need it to be any other color and I could do one right here as well yeah that is gonna be good that is a gorgeous looking handrail wouldn't you say that it does kind of funny right there maybe I don't need that maybe I just need it at the end there because of the white, just the way that it, the, the colors change like that. Uh, white stained glass. There, yeah, that should be good. And that'll mark it. And I might actually change this to something else too. Although I think with white carpet on top, it might just be perfect. I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me what you think. Anyway, the last thing I need to do, I guess, is just add maybe a little rug in here. That way I can hide some light. And I'll do, I guess I'll do a rug. Hmm. I'll probably need to do some sort of a, oh, you know what? I can do another lamp right here. This will add some light. And that'll actually be really, really good for the aesthetic too. Let's see if I can place this on top. Cool, there's a good little lamp. And now I can probably, I can't put light in the wall because it is going to show through on the other side. I'm actually out of glowstone too, believe it or not. That was my last glowstone. Um, this is going to be interesting because <laughs> I can't really do that. For now, I'm gonna add some torches before, uh, just so I don't get spawns in here. And I don't know, it's, it's gonna be enough light right now, I do believe. I didn't check everything, but uh, I do believe it's gonna be enough light right now. I'll just add one more right here and we should be relatively well lit uh, Inside on the upstairs 
in the upstairs. Uh, the bathroom is not quite lit enough as well. I'm gonna need glowstone to come down here underneath these and then we might have to do some slab fixtures to make the glowstone fit well but I am gonna need to go to the nether before I do that and I'm really feeling accomplished with this design so far you guys not quite complete yet upstairs a couple of finishing touches left and a couple more paintings and stuff like that to place but for the most part uh, the upstairs is done please leave me some comments in the the comment section below let me know what you think of the design so far next time we come back we'll take your comments into consideration maybe add some finishing touches upstairs and decorate the living room and maybe even build a kitchen <laughs> thank you all so much for watching you guys it was always a pleasure and as always this is Uljin signing off see you next time